Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, The Binding of Isaac, The Binding of Isaac, The Path of Platinum. In the last episode we tried to play as Isaac and go to Shoal again. We made to Shoal and we had a really good thing going actually and uh, we got the shears again, which I like the shears quite a bit. Um, but unfortunately it was not enough for us to make it to Satan and a big part of that was that I, I mean looking back, I feel like the main reason I didn't do it well in Shoal was because I didn't have... First of all, what? Are you serious? That is awesome! Oh, damn. This is exciting now. Alright, so Super Meat Boy Fanboy, uh, which I believe slows us... No, it gives us all stats up, doesn't it? But I feel like we're slower. Or that might just be because of uh, Maggie. Uh, sweet! That's awesome! I saw that item, like, I know that's something good. Don't remember what, but I know it's something good. So we got a lot of health now, so deal with the devil, please? Um, that's so great. I'm so happy. I just feel like we're moving so damn slow. Uh, but anyway, I, I wasn't doing much damage, and then I was just playing stupid, and then, you know, I, I don't think I was prepared for the challenge of Shoal. The Shoal is, is actually a really difficult area to play through, so we definitely... Uh, need speed upgrades if we even want to have a chance in this game because we are moving really slow. Um, I feel like I can't say that enough. Have I said that yet? Have I said that I think I'm moving really slow? If I haven't, I apologize for not being repetitive enough. Uh, so a speed upgrade would be cool. Any kind of hormones or enhancements or whatever they actually call them in this game. Let's go ahead and take Yum Heart. So this is just pathetic. There we go. Penta- oh my god. We are just gonna be doing- we're just a fucking powerhouse, I guess. Oh wait, I should've- do I have full health? Okay, cool. We are- we also look kinda cool, if I do say so myself. I complained about not doing enough damage, and now we're gonna be doing a lot of damage. That's kind of how this game goes. But watch, we won't get speed upgrades, and then I'll complain about being too slow more than I already am, imagine that. And uh, oh my god, I've never gotten this item before, have I? Abel's cool, I actually really like Abel. It's kind of a weird item. Have I got an Abel yet? I don't think I have. Uh, Abel's cool because it's kind of just a familiar that does its own thing. So it's a lot like the Peeper's Eye, but unfortunately I don't like it as much because the nice thing about the Peeper's Eye is that it just runs into enemies, whereas with this you kind of need to be a little more proactive with it. I also don't know how the damage stacks either. I'm assuming like a certain amount of time of contact with the Peeper's Eye does about as much damage as... I don't even know. It's interesting, though. I, I mean, it, it sh also shows kind of how the shapes of this game are made. Plus, it, it kind of lets us, like, snipe, too. Like, I don't want to go over there because this enemy's a jerk. And, well, this is not a good example of this. Come on, get him. Get him. There we go. See, I didn't have to do anything. Just kind of steer him around. So it's kind of, it's cool. I mean, I think it's a cool item, but like I said, I like Peeper's Eye a little bit better. Peeper's Eye is more passive. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like, Peeper's Eye is just, it's there. It does its own thing. You don't have to worry about it. But then with, uh, it's Abel, right? Yeah, with Abel, you kind of have to be a little more proactive and be like, okay, so as I shoot this way, you'll shoot that way. So... Is this making any sense? It'll be good against like enemies like zombies or if I have to fight Mask of Infamy, but then again, if I have to fight Mask of Infamy, I'm gonna be in a lot more trouble. Why you ask? Because I'm so slow. So we'll let, go ahead and let Abel take out those guys. It'd be really cool if like your damage stat. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to open that door. Let's just go look in the shop anyway. Nah, that, even if I found money, that's awful stuff in there. All right, so we'll go ahead and fight our boss. We're gonna go ahead and fight Duke of Flies, Dukey Duke, and the I don't know, Dookie Duke does sound like a cool band name though. It sounds like a 60s band, a 50s band, Dookie Duke. Dookie. No damage. Deals devil? No. Health upgrade? Sweet. Dessert? So sweet. I guess that makes a lot more sense than I meant it to. Um, Alright, Curse of Darkness, again. That's stupid. I hate it, it's poopy. But whatever. Better now than later. Uh, oh, and I am, if I, okay, if I don't get any speed upgrades, I'm just gonna go fight Isaac and Blue Baby, I think. If I do, oh my god, see, like, I'm so slow, I can't dodge anything. 
Um, if I do get speed upgrades, I'm gonna go to Satan. Um, I wanna go to Satan. Well, no, wait. Yeah, because I've beaten Isaac. I haven't beaten Blue Baby with Maggie. The main reason, though, I wanted to beat Isaac with uh, Ma or Satan with Isaac is because I won't. I really wanted to get the Mom's knife, but whatever. I don't want to do like three runs in a row where I'm trying to do the exact same thing. So. But this is, I, I think this is a pretty interesting run. I mean, some items I've never gotten before, which is awesome. I've had Kane before, but I don't think ever on this save. As I said, I've probably put about 40 hours of another Isaac game into my laptop where I did never save, where I actually didn't even play it through Steam, where I just played it off the Humble Bundle download. It didn't count towards this. Uh, Book of Shadows is great and all, but I like Yum Heart right now, so I'm sorry. Well, shit, I don't know. Because even though I like Yumhart, if we don't... We're not getting much money. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Book of Shadows, I think. Because we're not getting much money. And the problem with that is... We're not going to be able to... Because the only reason I like the Yumhart is when you get stuff like uh, Nun's Habit. And you're basically invincible for half the game. Or more than half the... Well, I guess half the game, technically. So you're invincible for half the game because every time you take a hit, you get to heal yourself. Or every time you take two hits, you get to heal yourself, which gives you a full heart of health. I don't know. I'll, I'll decide. I might go back and change this. Okay, so we got this jerk. So we'll just go ahead and use our Book of Shadows so we can get all up in his face. I'm not actually doing much damage, which is a little disappointing. Oh, oh. Actually, have we gotten hit yet? I don't think so. Oh, bad spot. Ah, oh, damn it. Wait, how did we lose both the spear? Okay, we only picked up one spear heart. Wait, does this creep do a whole heart of damage? It's fucking ridiculous. Deal the angel! Dude, we, what if we get like a full Meat Boy with Super Meat Boy fanboy? That'd be so cool. Uh, Scab. Scapular's poopy. Um, we'll just go to the next floor. I'm not gonna bring Yumheart with. Cause I like Book of Shadows a lot. I feel like it's a bit of not. I wouldn't. I don't even know if I call it an underrated item. I just don't feel like it's as good of an item as some people make it out to be. Or I don't feel like it's as good as people. Or I don't think people realize how good it is. God, I don't even know how to speak. Oh come on. Come on. And, oh, Game Kid. Uh, stop giving me shitty items, game. There's things I actually need. <laughs> this run is probably not going to end well for me. I can already kind of tell. But maybe, I, yeah, I shouldn't have that attitude about it, I guess. I guess. I mean, who really even cares anymore? Freaking Isaac. Stupid game. <laughs> I don't mean that. I love this game. Sorry for saying that game. Take it all back. Zip. We are doing a pow we're just a powerhouse right now. It's awesome. Love it. Get out of my house. Taking out flies in one shot. Like it ain't no thing. We have no keys. No Kia. Thanks for sponsoring this Let's Play. <laughs> right, guys? Sorry, I'm like concentrating now, which is silly. Who needs to concentrate? I mean, come on. I actually like want to, I almost want to go to that library and see if the Book of Revelations is in there, because I think that'd be so awesome if we got Meat Boy and Super Meat Boy Fanboy, but I just, that's probably impossible to get both of those things. All right, let's go fight our boss. We're already in caves too. We're going to fight the Fallen, which is awesome, but at the same time kind of terrifying because we are so fucking slow. Have I said that yet? God, Jesus. He's just gonna, let's just use Book of Shadows when he does that shit. We are probably gonna, we could actually die in this fight, so. Maybe he won't do his dumbass charging attack again. <laughs> Fucking yeah, right. Ah, ah, yeah. I, already, I don't even care what he gives me, actually. I feel like anything he gives me is gonna be awesome. 
I guess brimstone would be cool because I'd have a lot more like killing power, like stopping power, so I wouldn't even have to bother. Like, oh my god, seriously, fucking die! I should have kept Yum Heart. I regret everything and nothing at the same time. Oh my god, I'm doing so much fucking damage. This is awesome. I don't mind. I mean, I like brimstone, but at the same time, I also like just doing good tier damage. And I'm, of course, backtracking to get our uh, Red Heart back here. This is a half of Red Heart, but, you know, every bit helps. I also can't believe it. I feel like we've only gotten one cent this entire, uh, this entire episode, which is pretty pathetic. So have we gotten three upgrades? It's like, hella damage upgrades? Let's see, what's our damage at right now? Damage is full, holy shit. We got that killing power. But like I said, I mean, speed. Please, give it to me. Oh God. He's, like whenever you walk into a room where you see one flashing bomb and then just nowhere to move, it's always kind of scary. Scary. Obviously we're gonna trade one bomb for another bomb. For two bombs. So our bomb counts up a bit. Power! Unlimited power! Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna take this pill because I'm a baller. Speed down! Oh god, I thought it was actually gonna be speed down for a minute. That scared me. Fuck your mother! You stupid enemies. I think Kang just took that one out all by himself. What a fucking beast. Alright, so... Luck down. I don't really think that's gonna matter that much. This room sucks. And even worse off, there is no reason for us to be here. So let's not... Fi oh, we've only got one left, so I mean, we might as well take him out. That was a total waste of a bomb, by the way. Unless we killed one with a bomb. Then it would be most a pretty big waste, but not a complete waste. Range upgrades would be nice, I guess. Full health pill. F speed down. Health down, no! You bastards. That is really upsetting. Last time I didn't take pills for this very freaking reason. Because they're just bad news bears. I want like, oh shit. That was scary. I want odd mushroom. Please. It'd be something good with two cents. Fine. I don't like you anymore. How many tier? Like three shot, four shots? One, two, three, four. Four shots to kill those guys. That's pretty cool. Should it be four shots to kill like most of these enemies? I, I don't really know. I know. Oh, come on! How did I walk in that fire? I guess I was walking. I guess I was moving too fast. Go fork, which it'll give us health when we kill enemies, but I'm still concerned. These rooms are always kind of cool because it's like a race to defeat all the enemies before they can start shooting at you. And I kind of failed at it, so whatever. Um, I kind of want to check if there's a secret room right here because there's so many. Ah, uh, this is nah. I also want to get more money so I can go ahead and play that judgment a few more times. If we get a health upgrade, I'm going to be really upset. So wait, I'm curious now. Since we got a, uh, since we had to fight the Fallen and we got to deal with the Devil item, does that mean a deal with the Angel can happen now or can it? That's, I feel like that's a really good question. If you guys know the answer to that, please let me know. Um, because I, I'm actually really curious. So, I mean, no matter what, this run is a success in a lot of ways because we are, we got two items I've never gotten before. Uh, the Super Meat Boy Fanboy and the, uh, and Kane, which is great. I mean, the whole point of this, uh, getting Platinum God is to get all the items in the game and some items just stop appearing, you know? So, better now than later that we get them. Or that we're trying to get. Lemon mint. That is just insulting. That's fucking terrible. 
So I guess this is going to very much be a... I don't want to say glass cannon because we have health. But it is definitely something not good. I don't know how I want to describe this run. This is a pill I've taken before. Why not? Friends of the end. Great. Gish! Slowing familiar, which is good, but not great. More Edmund McMillan stuff, which is always cool. Um, yeah. I just like, man, I thought our damage was so high up, but I just, I don't see it. I guess Gish is a high health boss. We're gonna die. There's no way we're gonna make it much farther. We should have kept Yumheart. Book of Shadows really has not done that much for us. Maybe? Oh god, I forgot he shoots bombs. I feel like that's something I say every time I fight him and he shoots a bomb. I, I just feel like if we would have kept Yumheart, we would have been better off. If we had, like, Poison Touch or something, then sure, Book of Shadows would have been great. But it's, it's not the case, my friends. Eternal Heart, which is cool. Get another health upgrade. But uh, we will not get the heart from that health upgrade. So we're still low on health. No, we did get two hearts, so that's good, I guess. And I really, really would wish now, now of all times, that we could get a, uh, a whatchamacallit. I really don't know what I'm trying to say. Again, what else is new, though? Um, shit, I really don't know. Not a speed upgrade. <laughs> Uh, God, if I don't get a speed upgrade, I'm gonna totally gonna call this. Actually, even if I get a speed upgrade, I'm gonna call this episode Need for Speed. Which people are gonna click on it thinking, oh wow, you must have gotten a lot of speed upgrades in this. Nope. Exact opposite. The fuck? I feel like those guys don't normally move that fast! <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm so slow. Need for Speed is like the perfect. I think that might be the best episode name yet. It's pop. And you know, I gotta say, Gish, Gish is a really good pickup. I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, of course, you know, if you can't get a speed upgrade, the best way to combat slower and being slow is making everyone else as slow as you. Or something like that. I think that's how the saying goes. I don't know. I almost want to go to that library, but at the same time, I don't at all because I don't want to, like, make it official that I'm a total idiot for taking, uh. Book of Shadows. Taking so much stupid damage. This is actually a terrible room for me. Alright, so mom is over there, and we're not. You know what? I'm just gonna go because I don't even like what I'm dealing with right now. Oh, and of course, that's. Just, I kind of actually want to take Necromancer, or the uh, Necronomicon. Plus, Evil Dead is coming out, so there's that. Someone should do a challenge run with Mom's Knife and the Necronomicon and call it Army of Darkness. Well, I guess it doesn't make... Is Necronomicon even in Army of Darkness? I honestly do not remember. It's been such a long time since I've seen... Specifically, Army of Darkness. I watched Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 recently. Which, those were, like, some of my favorite movies. And I'm really not too entirely happy about the remake. And I know it's, like, being done by Sam Raimi... Or it's produced by Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, and all them. Which, I like them a lot, but... Um... I don't think I can even get to that, so I'm not gonna bother. That's always a fun room. Especially when they don't give you anything. To Well, I guess they give me a scent. Which is something. But I just take it as an insult. Let's talk about that game. Uh, you know what would be great is that speed... Was it called Speedball? The one that gave me a speed upgrade last time? Speed upgrade and a... Uh, I want to play that, but I only have three cents and one key, so it's kind of out of the question. This is such a different run than the last one, too, which I always find that so... That's what is so great about this game. That's why people can put, like, 400 hours into Isaac. Because you'll just end up with such different runs. It's so cool. Fucking seriously! I don't understand, game. Why are you trying to fuck me? Like, seriously. That is like the third or fourth terrible spacebar item. Book of Shadows could even be argued to be one of those, so. I'm gonna go for this pill because I'm desperate. I know it's not a health down pill. Luck down! Even even better. Well, not Well, it is better, so. 
I guess let's go fight the boss. I mean, we have, like, no health. We have two hearts. Whatever. Can we even use the Necronomicon? On Mom? I don't know. We'll find out. I guess. It just sucks, because, you know, we have such good items. Like I said, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but we have such good items. And they're just going to kind of go to waste. So. You know what I hope? I really hope that Mom gives us pageant boy, so I can just have a really legitimate reason to just destroy my soul. It doesn't look like we're even doing that much damage, but we have full damage! We're not. We probably won't even beat Mom, which is kind of sad. There we go. That actually did quite a bit of damage. I think isn't I think someone said that Necronomicon and uh, Death Card are the same. But I also don't. Oh fuck! Thanks, Scapular, for this nice little last lag of hope. Oh god! I don't even know how I didn't just die there. Yeah, I think I officially don't like Abel very much. It's just not very good. It's not. Even, it's not that it's bad. It's just not very good, which I was hoping it would be. It's not better than a traditional, uh, oh god. Well, we're gonna at least beat mom, maybe? Okay. We're gonna survive a little bit longer now because we're getting, uh, Squeezy, which is gonna give us two spirit hearts, and tears up, which is actually really good. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna take the Polaroid, even though I kinda wish I wasn't, but I'm gonna take it just in case we somehow Make it to the boss of Utero 1, Utero, by the way, so it's going to be a harder boss. Um, just in case we make it to the boss of Utero 1, don't take any damage from the boss of Utero 1, get a deal with the devil in the boss of Utero 1, and get Guppy's Paw. That, my friends, is the definition of a game changer. So it probably won't fucking happen. Prove me wrong, game! Prove me wrong. We'll be square. I cannot believe. It. I just took a. That's the thing. I always forget. Doesn't matter what enemy it is. If you get hurt, you take a whole damn health, a whole damn heart of health. Go over there. Get him. Oh shit! He came over here. I wasn't even ready for it. This wait. Does his damage stack with yours? Because if it does, I have severely underestimated him, and I almost want to apologize. Oh my god, that was terrifying. He was like pushing him over. What a jerk. That was. N Thank you, turret. Shit. This is a terrible room. Does damage stack? Like, does he do the same amount of damage we do? I don't think so. Also, can I just point this out? I know Meat Boy, like, drags a little m m pile of blood. Well, I know it's supposed to be like meat, like, in the game. Should totally be creep. I'm surprised there actually aren't any items in this game that give you your own creep. Are there? No, there's not. I wonder why that is. Maybe because they didn't. I don't know. It would have been really cool though. If you could make your own. If you had an item that made creep. Like a space brian that you hold down for a certain amount of time and it makes a little trail of creep. Write it down, Edmund. I'm sure people. Because I know every now and then he goes to Twitter for item idea suggestions and I'm sure that's gotta have been someone's idea. My idea, but you know, I guess someone can take it. As long as it makes it to the game, I'll be happy. As long as it's called like Red Panda Gamer's super awesome idea for really cool people. Also, can I just point out there was no reason for us to come all the way over here? I mean, I know that probably doesn't even need to be said, but maybe we should just use the Hermit to teleport randomly. That, well, I mean, it, we didn't have to backtrack as much, which is cool, I guess. Oh, God! Terrible, terrible, terrible. I should... The worst thing is that I got hit again. <sighs> Hearts? The world! We will save this. Even though... I probably won't need it. Or won't be able to use it later, so... There's that. A room full of hearts. It's pretty easy. I mean, they can't hurt you. Unless you get too close to them. So, just go ahead and... They, they're really good at hiding, though. They're all just kind of hiding back there. 
which is kind of funny. I mean, I guess I could just be patient and let Kane do the work. Or Abel, sorry. But, uh, I don't have patience for that kind of shit. So, yet again, another direction we were not supposed to go. We need to get the compass and the map more often in this damn game. That's the other problem. No way. I don't have any keys, so I can't actually, uh... It's, uh... Oh, there we go. Let's just get able to do the work for us. Takes a little while, but not too bad, actually. This is Wheel of Fortune, which, of course, now we have money, but there's no shops in existence. So let's just go ahead and play this a bunch of times. Maybe we will get something fantastic. Who knows? All bets are on, because we're betting. Got some money, so we can play it again. I'd rather lose than get money, to be honest. I mean, unless it's like a nickel or a dime or the dollar dollar bill, y'all. Which loves to not show up. Oh, that's good. Thanks for putting that coin right over there. Another luck down pill. That should be coming handy when you're playing the slot machine. Oops. White pill. What does it do? I don't know. That's good. I love farting. See, at least we'll get to uh, die laughing. Masks of infamy, which suck. Especially because of our speed. Have I mentioned our speed isn't very high? Fuck. But we're still doing alright. I can't believe that. the <laughs> Who's okay. Alright, enough. Dude, seriously! It's, just tell me about it, man. It really is a luck down pill. If I can get it all the damn time. Got him. Of course, he drops a coin and not a. What are those things called again? Spirit hearts? I don't know, it's been such a long time since I've gotten one. I don't even remember what they're called anymore. You bitch! Just got that heart. Ripped it out of my chest. I'm sure we'll beat Utero 1. Well, I shouldn't even say that. If it's someone like Death, I'm fucked. Well, you said you wanted to get more cubes of meat, so... What's the big deal? Okay, Loki. That's actually cool because this should do a lot of damage since there's two enemies. Oh my god. I just don't want to die. I just want to beat one of them. Okay. Should be able to take out the other one just fine. Oh, God. Kill him, please. Guppy's paw. Oh, well, no. Bunch of pills. Gas. Good. That's good. Uh, Mystery. Balls of steel. That's good. Friends to the end. Not good, but whatever. I really was hoping, oh my god, if we got Guppy's Paw, I was shit. Oh, thank goodness we got the Miter. I was worried we were going to go through this game and not get the Miter. Well, that also answers my question about uh, if we can still get uh, deal with the Angel items if we fought the Fallen. Which, I mean, makes sense, because we're not technically taking a deal with the Devil, because we're not losing health for taking that item. I just, because I also figured it would, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Bob's rotten head. More like... No, that... Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say more like useless item. Hey, what are these flies all just... Easiest Yurdo or Yurdo floor ever. I guess the easiest Yurdo floor ever would be just one where nothing happens. So, maybe next time. Just being quiet because I, I like... That little part of me in, you know, the deepest part of my soul is just like, hey, you know what? We could do this. <laughs> Fuck, no. Never mind. I take it all back. 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 I hate Gertie Juju so much. Just stand your ground. Stand your ground. Oh, come on. I 
hate Gertie Jr. so much. Fucking die! Lying ass health meters? That, I'm sorry, like, I really, really hope that they fix that in Wrath, or the Rebirth. Getting out of here. No reason for me to do this fucking room. Ugh. Oh god, I don't know how I didn't get there. Well, Keeper Me probably saved me. Save me! It's just sad that I have such good items, and it's probably gonna end in failure, and... Well, if I make it to Mom's heart, I have no doubt that I'll be able to beat it. Well, I say that now. Uh, well, no, you know what? I have nine bombs, so I'm fine on that front. I think I could beat Mom's heart, actually. We're doing a lot of damage, supposedly, according to the game. It doesn't actually appear to be true. It always seems like when you're tier, when you're dan, like when the game says you're doing a lot more damage, it always seems to be untrue in boss fights. Like, it doesn't matter how much damage you're doing, it's still not very much when you're fighting whatever boss. Maybe that's, maybe I just feel that way because I'm bitter and pissed off. Especially because we went all the way this way for nothing. Good game. Good game. This is, though, I gotta say, one of the games that I get the most frustrated with but also immediately want to play again the most. Like, that is not how I feel about Dark Souls. Dark Souls, when I die in Dark Souls, I'm just like, why am I even fucking trying? Like, why do I even bother? But with this game, I don't feel like that at all, really. I mean, there's times where I'm just like, oh my god, seriously? It's more the items that get on my nerves than the, uh, like, the fight. Like, dying in general doesn't get on my nerves as much as just getting a bunch of really bad consecutive items. Because... I mean, you know you're going to die, so when it comes to that point where you get these horrible items all in a row, you're not surprised when that death comes. And if we're going all this way for nothing, I'm going to be very upset. Just saying. That's a half of red heart. Oh, I was gonna say that one didn't even drop anything. Oh, shoot up! No, no, I'm such an idiot. I didn't need to go for that. Ha! Thanks for the key, jerk. So, what the hell? What does Guppy's head do? Makes flies? Great. Fantastic. This will help for one room. Actually, this is a pretty good room for that. Oh, good! We're fucked. We're so fucked. We're gonna die. <laughs> yeah! That was fun while it lasted. It's not over till it's over. Should've just used the world card in here. But you know, that's just how you know I th What? No! Son of a biscuit. Oh shit. Oh, that's right. I have the Polaroid. I thought that. No, maybe that. No, that was from Miter? No. I don't know, actually. Now I'm confused. Because is it Miter? No, Scapular gives you a spirit heart when you're about to die. Once, I think. And then, what does Miter do? I thought Miter makes red, or, uh, oh, come on! We've been through this game! I hate these rooms! Wait, is this what gives me, inv I remember someone once said that, oh, that gives you permanent instability, like, like you can't die for whatever reason, but I don't think that was true, and I don't even remember what it was about. This room sucks! Is it this? No fucking way. Get away from me, you bitch! <laughs> Stop your stupid noise. It's very annoying. Okay. Let's go fight! Da 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 da! Oh god! Well, we don't have the help from the shears, which makes me a little nervous, because I was getting so used to that. Well, oh, actually, uh, Kane shot a pack, which is awesome. Oh, shit!
Zombies? That was great shot. Fucking Mario Golf style. Great shot! Man, I miss Mario Golf. I'm glad they're coming out with the 3DS version, though. Damn! Okay, maybe my attack is really high, because I just fucking punked his shit, man. So we're going to get Larry Jr. here now, but also permanent bombs. Alright, did I just take a hit? Oh god, I was wrong. There's no such thing as permanent visibility. Ah, I was wrong! Please just die. Oh, shit! God, I can't believe I almost got killed by a fucking worm. Uh, I didn't even use fucking Nagramnagan. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, fuck it. Let's go to Shoal. Why not? We we'll use the world card. Damn it, that's far. We're gonna lose right here. That was funny. We didn't get very many items, but uh, we got some cool ass items. I mean, overall, I'm really happy with that run. That was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Please like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do forget to share your love. If you enjoyed the Binding of Isaac Path to Platinum, be sure to check out uh, older episodes. I post one every single day, so be sure to come back tomorrow. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Red Panda Gamer. See you later.